Hi friends, uh, in this video we are going to learn to locate the points, right? Or to uh, write the position of different different points or different objects. Just like see here, uh, here is a right, uh, here is a right triangle, right? And here is a mm, uh, square, right? And here are some points, right? Um, and T. Now in this video uh, or in this chapter we have to locate the position right what is the position of this different different objects this points right so uh, let, let, let's see in this triangle this right angle triangle what is the position of this a b and c let's find out okay what is the position of a now see here a right in x along x right from this origin along x from it is 1 2 3 4 5 right along x it is 5 so let me write here 5 right and along y axis right along y axis it's positive right because the right side of the origin right side of the origin is always x positive in y let's go 1 2 3 4 so this is 5 4 right and again for the b the x coordinate is 1 2 3 4 5 again 5 and y coordinate is 1 2 right it's 2 so let me write here 2 fine and what about the C and now see along the x axis it is 2 and al again along the y axis in upside it is 2 so it is 2 and 2 we generally write x axis first and then y later this is our convention okay so this is the position of this triangle right 5 4 5 2 and 2 2 right these are the three coordinates that is giving the location of the triangle ABC now let's go for this square what is the location of this P yeah so let's move along the x-axis first one two three four five means negative five right and in upside of the y along y-axis it's one two right so minus five two is the coordinate of p right now q along x coordinate this is negative three and al again uh, along the y it is two right again for y uh, sorry r this r along x-axis this is minus 3 so let me first write minus 3 and along y-axis it is just close to this 4 right so let me write it 4 and again here for s along y-axis it is 4 so let me write first 4 and just uh, because it is convention to write first x and then y so see the x first here x minus 5 so minus 5 so minus 5 minus 4 is the position of s now what is the position of this m point right so let me go first uh, along x-axis this is minus 4 right so minus 4 and along y-axis this is minus 3 that is negative 3 right oh I write it twi twice yeah minus 3 or negative 3 and what is the position of n see along y-axis this is minus 5 negative 5 and along y-axis this is positive 2 so 2 minus 5 right and for t along y-axis this is negative 3 and along y-axis this is sorry x-axis this is positive 5 so 5 minus 3 is the position of t now let's do something different right here is the points here are some points right given points now we have to locate such points in this uh, this figure right uh, in this Cartesian plane so first one is minus 6 minus 5 so minus 6 along the x-axis minus let me see here minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 yeah and again minus 5 so minus 5 downstairs right minus 1 2 3 4 5 means this position is the minus 6 minus 5 right so we have completed this now another one is minus 3 minus uh, sorry minus 3 and 4 means negative 3 again in the left side of the x x coordinate right from the zero, uh, zero right so minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 here and 4 upside 1 2 3 and then 4 here right so this is the same point that is minus 3 and the 4 this is the location of this uh, B point right this is, this is B another minus 4 uh, sorry 4 and negative 5 right so 4 along positive so from the right side of the origin is positive so let me go for 4 okay 1 2 3 4 right and negative 5 again 1 negative is downstairs 2 3 4 5 means this is the location of the point 4 minus 5 right another is 3 7 right so 3 7 1 2 
3 here and 7 upside 1 2 3 4 5 6 and here will be around here this will be right 3 and 7 okay another one is 3 minus 4 so again 1 2 3 and again minus 4 means downstairs right so 1 2 3 4 so position of this point is minus 3 4 like this we have to locate some points right we have to give the position in this uh, coordinate geometry chapter right coordinate geometry so uh, if you're watching this video from YouTube so I will request you to go in my website that is skyingblogger.com right there there are lots of uh, practice series you know there are lots of practice points that you can locate in a graph okay so please uh, go to the website and see there are lots of example and try to solve this okay and in next video we'll be learning the distance formula okay Soon we'll be meeting in the next video. Bye-bye.